Greetings, family. I am on today to talk about Gambian visa. Many people say they want to travel, but they don't start with the basics. So I thought it was important to come on and talk about how we manifest our travels, right? If you claim that you want to travel, you want to go abroad, start with the basics. You have to have a passport. Get your passport. Then you can find out what the qualifications are in other countries for you to be able to travel. So for the Ikiwas visa, which is what Gambia offers, you're able to travel to like six or seven other countries with just this passport. Now for the US citizens, this is amazing because we can move throughout the continent. But most people on the continent are worried about being able to travel internationally. And this can be used internationally as well, but you will need a visa to, accom to accompany it, okay? So I wanted to go through the Gambian uh, uh, passport. This is the green one. I believe they offer three different ones. So, you know, do your research and see which applies to you. Forgive the noise in the background. They're building behind me. So I don't know if you all can hear like, um, you know, them putting this building together basically. So if you hear some hammering, that's what it is. Um, so the visa is amazing. It, the passport is amazing. It's green, it has gold writing. It says Economic Community of West African States, that's ECOWAS, Republic of the Gambia. So a friend of mine just got his passport. I'm so happy for him. He was thanking me, telling me that I'm the reason why he got his passport. And I'm like, why? Like you paid for it. And he said, no, but you pushed me to get it. He's like, you know how long I've been talking about going abroad, but you pushed me to get my passport. Um, and I will have connections once he arrives in the States that will assist him with his process until he's ready to return to the Gambia. So this is what the inside looks like. Kind of, you know, similar to, I guess, you know, other passports, but I'm just excited because it's my first time touching a Gambian passport. Um, so it says Republic of the Gambia. Um, it has writing in French underneath. Um, and it talks about, let me look, I need my glasses, which I usually don't need them, but this print is really small and I want to make sure I'm not misquoting anything, okay? So it said, these are to request and require in the name of the government of the Republic of the Gambia, all those whom it may concern to allow the bearer to pass freely without let or lendrance, and to afford the bearer such assistance and protection as may be necessary. Now, what's so cool about the first page of this passport is that it has three black men in the passport on a fishing boat. It looks like a long canoe, and one of the brothers is throwing a net to catch fish. One has an oar, like a row, to be able to row the boat in his hand. And I guess the other one is prepared to deal with the fish once they catch. So for those of you who can't see it, I hope that was a great explanation, description of it. And for the others who can see, I'm going to show the picture. Isn't that amazing? Look at that, y'all. Brown people inside the passport. Some of us take that for granted, but people from the States, we know what it is, right? We are, we are barely even recognized inside of our um, passports. So I'm gonna cover the person's face, but um, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you all can see that, but first page, you know, looks like our first page where it has the name, the date of birth, it has the number across the bottom, like a serial number. Um, and then the first page of the visa has a bow bow tree. Look at that. Y'all, come on now. You know, bow bow is like tree of life, right? It's the fruit, the fruit that grows on the bow bow tree. You all have heard me say this, and I love to keep saying it, is the multivitamin of nature. Like every vitamin you need is in that bow bow tree. Um, and then it has the beautiful birds of the Gambia. Look at that. I think I should hit this light because I feel like it might be interfering with, let's see, what I'm trying to show you all. Can y'all see that? I hope you can see it. It's these beautiful birds. Like one looks like a crane. The other one looks like this bird with this huge beak, like Toucan Sam, that is always banging on my window, right? Reminds me of that Fruit Loop commercial in the States. And then there's um, more birds. And it's very faint, some of the paintings, some of the artwork. I don't know if you all can see it, but I believe it's that 
convention center that was built by China in the Gambia. So the Gambia Convention Center. And then this one looks like the port where the boats arrive, right? There's pictures of that. So it's actual landmarks in the Gambia that are part of this um, piece here. So you all are able to see that. Can you see it? I hope you can see it, right? So it's historical places in the Gambia. And then again, there's a, this looks like a woman holding a child on her hip. Um, again, representation of us in the passport, right? Black women, look at that, holding a baby on her hip. And she has one hand up, like she's pointing to something. Um, it doesn't say who it is, but it just has great artwork. Then there's an alligator in the picture as well, or a crocodile, however you wish to refer to it. Um, and then there's more of the beautiful birds of the Gambia. And I believe this looks like a gecko. Some of the artwork is very faint because they put it on a green background. Yeah, this is some type of gecko or lizard, right? It's very faint, very faint. It's like a light brown artwork. You all can see that. Picture is so bright. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, yeah, I think that's probably better. So you all can see that. Yeah, that's some of the artwork on here. I'll try it again. Because I think when it's out, you all are able to see it better. Is that better? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it's some type of lizard. And then they have the beautiful cows that are always roaming around. And I think this is a representation of animals throughout Africa because I see a hippopotamus, but I don't know about any hippopotamus in the uh, Gambia. If they are, I'm not in the area where I've seen them. More of the beautiful birds, beautiful lizards. This one is a bird with really long legs, like some sort of crane, if you're familiar with your birds. And more birds, because you know I've heard there are over 500 different species of birds in the Gambia. Um, so the artwork is really beautiful. It has all the natural life. They also have the vultures of the Gambia, because you see many of them. You all have heard me talk about a video where I talked about a bird that had a broken wing that was in front of the shop. Um, more of the buildings in the Gambia. You can see that there. This is a modern building. I'm thinking it may be one of the banks because I'm not really familiar with this building. Another bird. And this one looks like a porcupine, which I haven't seen here. But apparently, these kind of animals are here. You know, I'm sure there's many more throughout Africa. More beautiful birds. Um, just kind of repeats at this point, the artwork. Um, so the pages are mint green with like a peach through the middle, more mint green on the bottom, like an ombre effect. And then they have visas, which are blue at the top. And I think those are the pages that they expect you to stamp. More birds, more birds. Um, this looks like Gambia, like a map of Gambia, how it's located with Senegal, I guess. At the bottom, it's like a very thin line, just the shape of the Gambia. More um, office buildings here probably the Social Security Administration, um, Bow Bow Tree again, and then this really tiny, tiny writing, which I am gonna grab my glasses for, for the magnifying piece, because generally I don't wear them. So this one says, this passport remains the property of the government of the Republic of the Gambia and may be withdrawn at any time. It is a valuable document and should not be altered in any way or allowed to pass into the possession of an unauthorized person. I am an authorized person. No stamps, statements, notations, or other additions should be placed or made in this passport except authorized. If lost or destroyed, the fact and circumstances should be reported at once to the passport office, Banjul, or to the nearest Gambian or to the nearest Gambia diplomatic counselor or other representative and to the local police. New passports can only be issued in such cases after exhaustive inquiries. So in other words, you better do all you can to find your passport before you try to apply for another one. Then on this final back page, it says Gambia passports 
are replaced by the competent authority in the Republic of the Gambia by the Gambia government's diplomatic and counselor offices. Counselor officers in foreign countries where they are established by the Gambia High Commissioners in the United Kingdom and Commonwealth countries and Her Majesty's High Commissioners and Diplomatic and Counselor Office in the Commonwealth and foreign countries where no Gambia representation exists. Passports should not be sent from one country to another by post. So I'm a little confused why they're talking about the UK. I mean, I'm going to repeat that, y'all, because Gambia has its own president, so I'm not sure why this part is relevant. I think they're saying if you're in the UK, right, and you are you lose your passport or there is some issue there that your passport cannot be sent from one country to another that's why they're referring to the uk they are valid for five years the fees for issuing issuing the gambian passport are notified by the department of immigration if at any time the passport contains no further space for visas a new passport must be obtained the possession of a passport does not exempt the holder from compliance with any immigration regulations in force in any territory or from the necessity of obtaining visa or permit where required. All children require a separate passport. Gambian citizens resident abroad should at the earliest opportunity register their names and addresses at the nearest Gambia consulate or office of the Gambia High Commission or where there is no Gambia representative with the nearest United Kingdom representative. Changes of address or departure from the country should also be notified. Failure to register may, in a period of emergency, result in difficulty or delay in according assistance and protection. So that's all they really have. If you all remember, when I read the U.S. passport, there were a lot of restrictions, threats, warnings, caution, all of that, but they don't have that with the ECOWAS passport. So this is what it looks like. We know that the ECOWAS passport can be used in Ghana, uh, Guinea-Bissau, Sierra Leone, and in some other countries, right? So I look forward to getting dual citizenship in Sierra Leone um, if they don't make it any more difficult than they already have, and as well to acquire um, this kind of liberty to be able to travel throughout the African continent. I hope you all found this helpful and that you enjoyed it and um, know that if you have a foreign passport from another country and you are in an African country for an extended period of time, there are steps that you need to take. Past 90 days or so, you need to get an extension on your, um, your, your passport, right? For the time that you're going to be here because they will only give you like 30 days or so. So if it's 30 days, you have to go back and get an extension stamp. Past 90 days, you have to get another stamp. If you're going to be here longer than that, then you're looking at a resident ID card or something to that effect. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you all enjoyed my excitement over my friend getting his passport. And when he finally makes it to the States, we'll be following that journey, what that's like, um, and how we offer assistance when we assist people, what that looks like. So blessings, family. I hope you all enjoyed it. We'll be talking soon and make sure you get your dual citizenship visa if you are a, a passport, if you can, right? You have a right to it. You should have it. Um, whether you want to just travel to the continent or you want to repatriate, whatever it is, but do consider traveling to the African continent just like you consider traveling everywhere else. Blessings. Talk to you soon. Hope you enjoy.